Hey, how's it going? Um, we have a bit of a different video for you this week. We're gonna take a break from our brewing equipment and show you how some of our stills work. Um, in this episode, we're actually going to show you how to steam, distill, lavender oil, and hydrosol using our essential oil still. Uh, the video is actually shot by our friends out at the Rabbit Mountain Lavender Farm in Boulder, Colorado, so many thanks to them. Essential oils are valued for their medicinal qualities. They're used for aromatherapy. Some people cook with them and other folks sometimes add a dash to cocktails. If you've ever purchased essential oils, you know how expensive they are. Having distillation equipment allows you to make any kind of oil you want at a fraction of the retail price. So we hope you enjoy this tutorial and please check the link in the description for equipment details if you're interested in doing this yourself. So this is our lavender still setup. As you could see earlier, I put water inside this vessel. This is our boiler. It's got an electric heating element in it that's attached to this controller, which allows me to control the temperature of the water inside and to slow down the boil if we're uh, driving too much steam into the system. Steam exits our insulated pipe out of the top here travels back down into the bottom of this vessel, which actually is packed full of lavender by our little helpers there. And as the steam passes through all that lavender, it picks up the various oils and um, other hydrosols, and it carries them up and through this column. We have this packed with some copper, um, in this case not to increase the proof of a, of a still, but instead to uh, react with some of the sulfur that might have come out of the plant material in here. Um, resulting in better smelling oil and, and hydrosol. And so as our steam passes through this column up and out, comes this way, now we have cold water coming from, in this pipe, coming from the tap, and it's circulating up and through this little jacket, and then back out this way, and that's coming back around and watering our lavender plants. So we run cold water through there, that's our condensing column, and then our condensate, which should be lavender oil and hydrosol, We'll drip out here into our separatory funnel. Uh, a few gauges and places to keep track of things on here, pressure relief valves in case for some reason we build up any sort of pressure, and uh, keep an eye on the temperature gauge here and know when we have um, steam actively enter entering the chamber. I also added a sight gauge on the back of this boiler so I know I don't run it dry and destroy our heating element. That's all there is to it. It's a pretty simple system. Um, and works like a charm. Getting our first signs of steam in the column. So I just turned on the water. So now we're circulating. You can hear this guy boiling. Now yeah, we've got some serious condensate forming. Things are really starting to boil in earnest. Still not seeing anything coming out of the condensate tube yet. We're getting close. And uh, you can definitely smell the lavender now. Okay, we've been distilling for about an hour, and I just shut the system down, turned off our controller pulled the hose out of our separatory funnel and there on top you can see is a skim of lavender oil and below that is all of our hydrosol. I'll let this sit for about at least 12 hours or so and some of that cloudiness will come out and that's still more oil and then um, we'll use this stopcock to drain off the liquid until we have just oil in the vessel and then we'll capture the oil. So that's it. Lavender to lavender oil in an hour. <laughs> 